Hello everyone, welcome to Spice of Life Experiences. We have um, some interesting stuff. Now the one I think is made with peanuts. The other one is made on a peanut free line. So, which one do we want to do first? It doesn't matter. Let's do these ones first because I have no idea what these are. These are called tea biscuits. These are a product of New Jersey. Um, I have information. Um, these look like crackers to me. Which one? That's not the one. They have this, and then they have chocolate. These are like remind me of graham crackers from the packaging. We have chocolate, and then we have these ones, which don't look to be flavored. Serving size two biscuits. So. So a tea biscuit over is uh, traditionally what they eat over, I guess, in the UK. Um, they have different kinds of them. Um, I guess they eat these. It's almost like a cookie um, type deal that they they eat these with their tea. Um, um, I'm you, looking at the British tea biscuits to get you, an idea. When you open them, they look like this, and they're because this is the only packaging they're in. Usually in the U.S., yeah, they're in a plastic uh, container. They're like a they're like a cracker, but they're a cookie. Okay. Oh, serving size. Interesting. Serving size is two. But okay, so they look like a cracker. Did you show them the cracker? Yeah, show me. Oh my God. It's an animal cracker. It's just not shaped like an animal. Yeah, this tastes like an animal cracker. Honest, truthfully, it tastes like an animal cracker. Ow. I, I forgot I can't chew on that side. <laughs> yeah, problem with wisdom teeth coming in. Okay, so... The thing is, tea biscuits are something that they do over in Britain. But we actually have them here too now. But they usually use them and duck them in tea or just eat them to the side with their tea. Yeah. Because I don't know how they properly do it over there. My wisdom teeth are coming in by way, guys. So don't be surprised if I'm struggling to eat these a bit because these are all crunchy. Which we were not expecting that to happen. No. <laughs> about these, what, last week? Mm-hmm. That's about when it started in... I have an idea for another video, but I'll talk to you about it later. Okay. And it's soft, but I will warn you, it will be, you know. Oh, thank you. I got you a bottle of water. Yeah, I can have that. It's good, though. Yeah. I like animal crackers. It's just an adult version, mm -hmm. in my opinion. Yeah, it's more, it's more of an adult version, the mature version of animal crackers. <laughs> Sorry, we're laughing at a cat. It's just it's, me. It's just because you stole her seat. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's her daddy's seat. You'll get it back. I promise. She's, so she's mad. She's mad because we're both in her normal seat. She'll be. I'm okay. in the one. You're in the other. She'll she's, be all right. She's not happy about it. She'll be okay. Yeah, until she starts attacking us. No, she won't do that. She'll, she'll wait for us to leave, and then she'll be all right. good. Take left. My it's seat. Chocolate one. Oh, chocolate. Like a chocolate graham cracker. Basically. Not too sweet. No. This is made in the USA on a nut-free wine. Mm -hmm. So, this is good for anybody with nut allergies. Yeah, especially if you're worried about, like, cross-contamination. Like what happened with the, uh, Raymond. Mm -hmm. Yes. Ugh. So we wasn't expecting that to happen either because we didn't know. Because I didn't, you know, I didn't know I had any allergies. Okay. 
We'll start with this one, Bamba Peanut Butter Puffs. Uh, it says Product of Israel, and it obviously contains peanut. It also contains corn grills and sunflower oil and salt, all ingredients we've had before. We decided to go with things that we know the ingredients of. Oh, they're like a Cheeto puff. What the? So here's the packaging. I don't know how well it's going to show up on camera because camera reversed letters from what I can see. And then here's the little puffs. Like a Cheeto puff. Yeah, it is. It's a puff. Kind of bland. It's sweet and salty. Yeah. I like it. Okay. I need more of a flavor. Mm hmm. Honestly, I'd rather have that than a Cheeto. Really? Yeah. That it, was really inexpensive. Not, I, we got these from Walmart. Yeah, these are from Walmart, by the way. And I'll be honest, they're not bad. N no. It's not bad. Okay. It took me a little bit to get the flavor, but I got it. Now, I don't know if all of these are in Europe or what, because it says uh, information for EU markets on this other one and information for U.S., this is also Bamba. It's a product of Israel. These are the peanut puffs with hazelnut filling. I love hazelnut filling. Um, one of my friends introduced me to this stick type thing, which you can get at the Dollar Tree or Dollar Generals. And they are really good. The one place only has the like larger containers near the holidays. And she, like, she handed me one to try in school one day. And, um, and I really liked it, so hopefully these taste good. Okay, so... Wasn't there a pretzel that had filling in it? Yeah, and it looked that? similar to it. We used to have a pretzel that had, like, chocolate filling. Wasn't there a pretzel that had filling in it? Yeah, and it that? looked similar to it. We used to have a pretzel that had, like, chocolate filling in it and it looked like this. No bad. It's like the other one, just with hazelnut. Mm -hmm. It's really good. It's not bad at all. It's actually pretty really good. Okay. What was your favorite thing to try so far today? That one. Same. The filling set it off. I like the other ones. I, I would buy any one of these and eat them. Thing is... The cheapest suits for me, because they're like animal crackers, I'd just rather go get the animal crackers, because the animal crackers are usually cheaper. That's Be true. Especially if you go to the dollar store and get the off-brand circus animals. But they taste the same. I only paid a dollar something for those. Hmm. That, I think, was a dollar or less for the bags. I think it was less than a dollar for the bags. I think it was like 98 cents. Now, we did put them in a Kroger bag to make it easier to carry in here, but these are actually from Walmart. And one day, I will, when I have a little time, or time I will make a trip to... Do you want a handful? Sure. <laughs> I will make a trip to Myers and find something interesting. Oh my god, I so want to go to Myers and find stuff, because they have such a larger section. They do, because of they're international, but right now with which... You know, I don't know. And I want some more of that Japanese tea. <laughs> In that juice box that's sweetened with honey. Oh, it was I the Christmithian flour. I forgot about that. It was really good, but we ran out really fast because everyone was drinking it. <laughs> Especially Christine. It was really good, though. It was. We... In my one English class, she if we were having just a movie day or a snack day, because we, we were having, like, a small party, because she had hardwood floors, we were allowed to bring snacks in. Right. And so some of the stuff I brought in were the Pockies that are imported from Thailand with the chocolate over them, and then a juice box of that tea. I remember you doing that. You don't remember me doing that? No, I remember. Oh, you remember? Yeah. yeah, and then I also bought a bunch of stuffed animals and video games with me because it was just a free day. Right. No, that's not bad. 
They're really good. Um, I do recommend these. These you can find, again, in the U.S. and the U.K. You'll have to kind of look for them because they have them in an odd aisle. There was, like, different stuff there and it wasn't just, you know, it, you wouldn't expect the that aisle, to be there. It was next to the Asian aisle, which was weirder. And there was other foods there. Yeah, there was, there was, um... Like, noodles and stuff. There was, there was the noodles, like, what we had that was all the same brand. Wasn't I going down to get the taco stuff? Yeah, you went down to get taco stuff when we found them. That's right, so it was in the shell aisle. It was either in the shell... Yeah, it was in the shell aisle with the seasonings, but it was at... On the, the one side towards yeah. the end. Because the way they move stuff around is odd. Very true. Because a lot of the places have rearranged things. Anyways, that's it for today. Bye!